What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC25 video with FC25 being merely days away. The news is coming thick and fast. From what I understand as well, it's currently Wednesday about 10.30 in the morning at the time of recording this. From what I understand, um, we're going to see, uh, I think, Castro, maybe Bates and etc. get on the game today and be playing it. Um, and of course, it's released anyway in like 36 hours UK time. Midnight at UK time is when it's going to be released. So with that, I guess people are already on the game and can see the content coming, which means we're going to have a look at it today. Now, guys, of course, if you're enjoying the content, feel free to leave a like on the video and let me know down below what rank you think you're going to get this year based on the changes. Because, of course, now you only get five games to qualify and still need three wins and you only get 15 games in champs rather than 20 from before. EA seemed to want to make champs harder. You know, last year it was easy to a degree. Um, you know, you'd see some content creators and such go like 20 and 0 on three or four accounts. Whereas uh, I think they want this to be their actual competitive mode. And so they had to do something to make it more challenging, to make it difficult. <clears throat> but let's see what we've got, guys. So UT Champion Rewards, rank 10. Uh, and rank 10 is going to be two wins needed. So two, two points, two wins from your 15 games. We'll give you 5,000 coins, uh, 184 rated plus card untradeable, and 27 by 77. So what uh, Sheriff said here was when it says times 2 times 7, it means two packs containing seven players. So you're going to get two 7 77 pluses, um, which isn't too bad for two wins, to be fair. 14 77 pluses, 5,000 coins, and an 84 plus for two wins. That's not bad. Into rank 9 we go. You're getting 15,000 coins. Now, rank 9 is going to cost you 4 wins. So, 4 and 11. Um, 15,000 coins. A team of the week tradable. An 80 by 11. Or an 80 plus by 11 untradable. And 2 more 777 pluses. And again, like, it's going to be really interesting to see how the kind of peak gets hit this year. Because they're giving out so much already by looks of things, you know, like some of these rewards are absolutely insane. And so by giving out so much so quick, people are going to have juiced teams and, you know, loads of coins and stacked accounts. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I talked about this last year. I don't think that's a bad thing. So long as they give a good reason to have a stacked account. Last year, there was no good reason to have a stacked account. This year, what it seems like they're going to be doing with like their themed seasons and things like that is you're actually going to have a reason to build up your nation teams, your league teams, your club teams, which gives more value and more worth to just having lots of cards. So rank eight, guys, which is going to be six wins, 20,000 coins, a tradable 81 by 11. So to go six wins and nine losses, that's interesting. Like for me last year, I struggled at the start a lot. You know, I was kind of like genuinely 11 wins was like my threshold. I was hitting 11 or 12 I was on RTGs, but that was no excuse. I was just struggling with the game. And so 11 or 12 wins was there. Um, I did push on to sort of like 15 wins on average as the game cycle went on, which was quite nice. But if it's going to be harder, I wonder if 6 and 9 or 7 and 8 might be like my wheelhouse if it's actually going to be more challenging in the champ setup. So this might be a reward that I'm actually looking at picking up. So 20,000 coins and 81 by 11 tradable, team of the week tradable, an 85 plus untradeable, and then two more of the 77 by 7 packs, which is uh, not bad. I mean, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And then for rank 7, guys, we've got seven wins for rank 7. So 25,000 coins. So what's the difference there? 5,000 extra coins. A team of the week tradable again. Uh, another 81 by 11 tradable again. A two, two of 86 plus untradeable packs. And then two more of the 77 by 7s. Rank 7 is like... Not wildly better than rank six. You get two eighty six pluses instead of one eighty five plus, and five thousand extra coins. Not really that much better for one extra win for rank seven. Rank six, which is eight wins, gives you thirty thousand coins and eighty two by ten tradable instead of an eighty one by eleven. I don't know what I'd prefer to be fair. Uh, two team of the week tradable packs, um, two eighty six pluses, and a fifteen by eighty one untradable. Now that's pretty good if you get eighty one. 1581 plus players, especially now with the duplicate untradeable storage system for SBCs. Oh, this, like even that in itself looks all right, doesn't it? And that's only rank six. That's only eight wins. There are five more ranks on top of that. And rank five looks quite healthy, to be fair. 45,000 coins, an 82 by 10 tradable, 
a base hero max 87 untradeable a team of the week tradable an 81 by 15 untradable and 187 plus untradable i don't know if rank six is better you get 15,000 less coins, but you get an extra team of the week tradable, which is really peculiar because that basically covers off that 15,000 coins. They both get an 82 by 10 tradable. They both get a 15 by 81 untradable. Rank five gets 187 plus. Ranks four, sorry, rank six, I beg your pardon, gets 286 pluses. I honestly think they are. The only difference is a base hero max 87. And then that's eight wins up to nine wins for rank five, which kind of makes me feel like EA probably feel like they're around the same sort of situation there, which is good. Now, what I do like about the camp setup this time around is you get win ranks for two, four, six at the early stages. Then it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then it's thirteen and fifteen. So if, as soon as you've hit your sixth win, every win matters up until you hit your eleventh win. And so, and other than the people that are going to be good enough to get 13 and 15 wins, which uh, we'll see, we'll see how that goes in general. Every, every game is actually going to be important, which is really good for me, eh? because they haven't had that in a long time in, in champs. Uh, and then the last four ranks, guys, rank four, 60,000 coins, an 83 by 10 tradable. Guys, that is going to cause a lot of coins in the market. A base hero on tradable, two team of the week tradable packs, an 81 by 20 untradeable and an 87 plus tradable. When we look at what's available um, in sort of like the 87 plus side of things, if we go to, uh, if we just go to FC 25 players and look at, pro probably ignore the icons and stuff, but there's a lot of 87 rated cards or higher. There's a lot that's going to be valuable, you know, in the early stages, like maybe not a Wendy Renard, but... A Declan Rice is going to be quite valuable. Bukayo Sako, William Salaba. You hit a trade with William Salaba in those early stages. It's just going to be insane because the card is insane. And I wonder, I wonder if it's actually going to crash the gold market really early. Which again, I wonder if it is a point that EA are trying to make on purpose. Because I think that they want people to be able to have access to almost every card. Apart from the truly elite cards. You know, someone like William Salaba... He's just going to be out, like, the, the power curve is going to go past him reasonably early in the game cycle because of all the promos that we get, because of all the special cards, because of evolutions. A card like this shouldn't hold hundreds of thousands of coins worth of value in the early stages because it's, it it should be accessible to people, right? So I wonder if all of these, this kind of rewards that we've got here is really to kind of get people a really steady account so that then they can choose what they want to go for in terms of like the big cards. Do you want to save your coins to buy like an elite card? Do you want to save your packs to try and pack an elite card from a promo? That sort of thing. But I think, you know, last year, as I say, everything was accessible to a degree. There was very, very few items that were completely unobtainable throughout the year. And you generally didn't need them. Like they did make a difference, but it wasn't big enough. And so I don't mind that personally. The rank four there, guys, which is 10 wins, 10 and 5 I'd like to think that this is this is like where I would be. I'd like to think that 10 and 5 is what I'd be looking for. Um, and that's an 83 by 10 <coughs> tradable pack. Rank 3, 80,000 coins. Another on 83 by 10 tradable. Two 87 pluses untradable. Wait, wasn't that tradable in the previous one? Yeah, it was a tradable 87 plus before. That's very weird. Again, like rank 3 is 11. Rank 4 is 10 wins. Two three Team of the Week tradable packs. Oh, this only has two individual Team of the Week tradables, which is, you know, that's okay. Rank three, which is 11 wins. Wow. 11 and four. I want to hope that I can, this, this will be like where I'm at generally. Rank four is nice, but this reward set is really nice. Look at that. An untradable 82 by 20. Two Team of the Week tradable packs that contain three players each. So six tradable Team of the Weeks. An untradable hero, not maxed there either, just a base hero untradable. 287 plus is untradable. An 83 by 10 tradable and 80,000 coins. That's real nice. And then rank two, guys, 110,000 coins. 284 by 10s tradable from day one, guys. This, I can guarantee you as well, this is going to be an SBC, right? We'll get an 84 by 10 SBC, probably in early access, right? Is it like it does seem like 
EA, uh, and I think, again, they realized this last year, especially when they gave a lot of promo packs that had like guaranteed cards in and guaranteed icons and stuff. I think EA finally realized that they don't have to gatekeep us having packs, getting packs, and getting players in the game to generate revenue from the store. You can give people anything that they want on Toast, and if they if they want to, they'll still go to that store and buy that shiny 600,000 coin pack or 500,000 coin pack because it's easy, it's lazy, it's the, you know... It's it's addictive, right? Like so, I, I think they've recognised the fact that they can give out this level of rewards, and it won't hurt their bottom line, which is good for the people that play for free and the free to play RTGs like me and hopefully like you guys, where we're not playing and spending FIFA points, but all we're doing is just playing the game for free. But this is still legit. If you are good enough to get ranked to one hundred and ten thousand coins, two eighty four by tens tradable, a base hero eighty six plus untradeable 288 plus is untradeable a 25 by 82 untradeable and two team of the week packs with three players untradeable so six trade sorry tradable six tradable team of the weeks just good and then of course that takes 13 wins and then rank one 200k an 85 by 10 and an 84 by 10 tradable a base icon untradeable rather than a hero an 89 by 2, that is going to be huge for people to hit rank 1. They are definitely going to get rewarded. Again, when we look at the level of players that are available, that are 89 plus, there's not many. You've got um, Map Elion, Egerberg, Smith, Salah, Stegen you probably wouldn't want. Van Dijk you would definitely want, especially, is, is was this tradable? 89 by 2, oh no, untradable there. Um, still though, it's uh, it's good. Um, and then you'd also like look look how few players there are that are eighty nine plus on day one. Now I don't know when champs is actually going to be open. It probably won't be this week. It'll probably be next week or the week after. Allison Donnarumma, Erdegaard, Martinez, Courtois. You probably won't want any of those. But Torre, Jose Roberto da Silva. Oh, Jose Roberto. He looks legit. I can't even lie. Yap Stam. Tim Howard, you probably wouldn't want. Hamshik looks okay. Uh, Laura Georges looks pretty... Uh, it depends how to put five for eight. No, thank you. Uh, Sam Kerr, Hansen, Telas, Kane, De Bruyne, Vinny J, Bellingham. Uh, then some icons. I don't know if they're going to be eligible in these packs, though. Icons generally aren't, are they? Out of like 89 by twos and stuff. Uh, Mykon, Hazard, Bon Matty, Holland, Rodri, Mbappe, and Sasic. There is not a huge selection of players there. So unless there's like immediately like promo packs that are giving out like 90, 89, 90 rated cards that are kind of a bit meh, that 89 by 2 each week could be huge for people. Then an 82 by 30. So an 85 by 10, an 84 by 10, an 82 by 30, and three tradable team of the week by three player packs. So nine total team of the weeks. Guys, these champs rewards are actually really good. And I, I've seen a lot of, like, noise, obviously, on my timeline. I, I tweeted about this yesterday. We made the video yesterday about, like, the changes that EA released. And a lot of people really don't like this. They don't like the fact that it's going to be sweatier. I think it's brilliant. Because, I, and, and again, what we read in that piece yesterday, I think was really important for EA to break it down the way that they did. Because they kind of explained, you've got, you've got squad battles for your offline competitive play. I don't personally like squad battles, but now it's only 14 games a week. I'll probably play for the rewards. I'll be able to do some evos on it and things like that, get some challenges done and whatnot. But 14 games a week, I'll probably do it. But if you don't like squad battles, no, no drama whatsoever. The second thing they talked about was rivals. And rivals is supposed to be for your like casual online play, right? Like, you know, your weekly play. And it's good, even though they made it 15 wins now needed to get all, you know, 45 points now needed to get the top rewards. What is not going to happen is you're not going to feel like it's too much pressure to go in there anymore because you're not going to go in there to try and get your objectives done. You're not going to go in there. Like, you know, last, in, in FC24, whenever I had something to do, like as an objective, and I'm in the elite division rivals, I'm like, well, God damn, this is painful because I either have to do it in champs qualifiers or champs, which was usually the easiest way, which is why people are upset now because in theory, they're like, oh man, my easy games have gone. So you either had to do it in Rivals Elite Division, which was terrible grinding evolutions up there, or you had to do it in squad battles, which is painful in itself, just sitting there playing the AI. It's one of the most painful experiences of gaming, in my personal opinion. 
you, you didn't have the ability to do it in life at friendlies. And so you went into champs to do it. And so I think people were like, people's mindset is still stuck to that of last year where it's like, oh, well, you've reduced the number of qualifiers, you've reduced the number of champs games and you've made it sweatier. Where am I going to have fun now? Well, actually, I think what EA have done is they've made champs sweaty on purpose, hence the rewards, because they want it to be the, the premium, like competitive game mode. Rivals is going to be uh, a little bit easier based off of that because you're going to be able to go into Rivals with your main team, not your challenge team, not your objective team, not your squad battle, sorry, not your um, evolution team because they made a point of stating the fact that friendlies is going to be where most of challenges, objectives and evolutions are going to be. Not all of them, but just most of them. And now that it's form based and not tied to your Rivals division, it should be a lot more of a fun mode. So the idea, I think, from EA's perspective is, if you care about score battles, it's there. Otherwise, the bulk of your like fun, like grindy games is going to be done in friendlies. Then you're going to have rivals for your during the week, kind of like, let me put my best team together and play some games games to practice for champs, to get ready, to get your tactics set up, get your team set up. Then you're going to go into champs qualifiers for your five games. If you can qualify, great. Then you're going to go into champs proper and just get your 15 games in. And what I really like about it is, like, I know there was a lot of people that were kind of talking on, on um, they they only have weekend spare. They don't really have the week spare. This is great for people that have jobs, have kids, have, you know, college or whatever, like school or education in general. Because now you're a total maximum of 20 games per weekend for qualifiers and champs. All of a sudden, it's not actually like absorbing your life. You can get it done in one day, in one evening. You can sit there and be like, all right, I've got a few hours. Let me go and get qualified. Or maybe you can get qualified during the week somehow or another. And then you just got to play 15 games throughout the, the weekend. I honestly think it's much better. I, I think the, the premium thing that EA could have done is make champs a weekly um, setup, right? Open it Monday, close it Sunday or whatever days that they want to do it and give people like keep it at 20 games or even make it 25 games but you know they wanted to make it competitive whatever but keep it open for the week so it's like people got the option of playing when they want but i think what they've done now is a really good compromise and i'm excited to see how it goes so of course guys there's gonna be a lot of fc25 content coming um as always you know with the new game it gets really exciting i love starting the new accounts and the road to glories and such and, and seeing what's in the game and, and hopefully being good at it some years i'm just terrible at it last year was one of those years some years i'm brilliant at it it just whether or not the actual game mechanics suit the way I personally play the game. Let's hope that FC25 is more in my favor and also more in your favor. But that for today, guys, and that for now is going to be the end. So I will see you later for another video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell to get notified, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.